everyone, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to share with you my impressions and memories from my trip to San Diego and LA. I've always loved California, you know, California dreaming, the song, it's always sunny there, you know, the palm trees, Hollywood. Uh, the, the whole idea of that life in LA and in, in some of the other cities in California really appealed to me, so I was really happy when I started going there for business trips and I took so many lovely photos and videos. Hopefully um, you'll get inspired by this video to go and visit yourself. So let's dive in. My first stop was San Diego. such a lovely coastal city such a nice vibe actually I've been there several times um, what I love about it is there there is a mixture of you know the American culture and the Mexican because it's so close to the border um, it's not your typical urban American city like Chicago or New York uh, the buildings are smaller there's a lot of um, Mexican influence as I said so I just love the vibe it's so relaxed it's so chill pretty much like everywhere in California and the tempo is not as, you know, as fast in some of the other uh, US cities. So. The first couple of days I stayed downtown because that hotel was closer to my office. Um, but also I could explore and see a lot of the places there. My favorite thing to do is basically walk on the marina on the ocean front. Um, San Diego is a um, military city. The US Marine is stationed there. So you can see as you're walking a lot of these big ships, you know, even cruisers are stopping by there. So it's a lovely atmosphere. The views, the weather is always sunny. So one of my pastime was definitely walking around the marina and just enjoying the sights. But also, if you're really feeling adventurous, you can go all the way down the ocean front to the uh, sea seaport village, which is basically a, a little kind of area of San Diego that has a lot of many stores, you know, cute restaurants. Some of the places that I didn't really get to photograph was Little Italy, definitely very good food, um, right downtown San Diego. So uh, a lot of um, other places that I still need to mention in my second video. But basically, uh, after staying downtown for a couple of days, uh, I went on a summit to the Fairmont, Grand Del Mar. And Grand Del Mar is an area a bit north from downtown San Diego. So it's a completely, it's, a, it's maybe like, 40 minutes drive from downtown San Diego and we stayed in one of the most gorgeous hotels I've ever seen in my life, the Fairmont Grand Del Mar. This place is like a fairy tale, honestly. As soon as you approach it, the driver is, is really, you know, you go through it, it's almost like a forest and then all of a sudden the hotel appears and it's so amazing. It has this lovely pinkish color. Um, when you enter the lobby and it's like you're out of this world. There's great uh, marble pillars, marble floors, um, amazing staircases, amazing views.
one of my favorite uh, places there is the library bar which is a bar where you have very interesting cocktails and it's uh, almost, it's made like a library almost um, the rooms were just stunning uh, when I stayed there I stayed there several times but one of the times I was actually um, my room was overlooking the gardens just walking into my room at the Fairmont Grand Del Mar in San Diego absolutely love this bathroom and the walk-in closet let's check out the main bedroom oh wow loving this little balcony view so lovely this is where I'll be staying for the next three days I even had a little place here where I could uh, drink my coffee in the morning. So yes, it's such a lovely fairy tale place and I love taking photos everywhere around the gardens, in the lobby, you know, um, it's just so stunning. Um, yeah, it was it was so much fun. Even the pools are just stunning and amazing. Um, California is the perfect place to basically sunbathe and sunbathe all year long. Um, so I, you know how much I love pools. You know how much I enjoy this time on the, on the leisure time that I got. And also there is this lovely kind of like fountain and a gazebo, which, which is very picturesque. It's almost, you almost don't feel like you're, you're in the United States. You feel like you're in a fairy tale. place just creams luxury and lux lushness there is even a chapel inside the hotel a huge room where apparently weddings take place, place as well so the whole experience was just amazing so yes that was my experience in the Fairmont um, and then from there I took the Pacific Surfliner um, train all the way from the train station San Diego to Los Angeles uh, to go to my next location, which was the Langham Huntington Hotel in Pasadena. The Pacific Surfliner, it's such an amazing way of traveling. You would think that, you know, the plane is faster, but you can't beat the views. It was so amazing. You just relax for a couple of hours, you enjoy great food on the train, all the while enjoying this lovely, you know, sights of the Pacific Ocean, um, San Diego beaches, uh, LA beaches. So it's an amazing experience and I definitely recommend it. anywhere 
like downtown um, in LA or in Malibu as I would have wanted to because that's an area that I definitely want to explore. We stayed in Pasadena which is a very upscale residential area and the hotel was again stunning. I don't know what it is about Californian hotels but honestly it, you can top that. So the Lancome Huntington is another amazing property, also a golf course. Um, as soon as you enter, it's all marble, it's very nicely decorated, great cent uh, flower centerpieces, the rooms were also stunning. There's even a, a little forest behind, kind of like the Asian part where you have little pathways that you can walk and explore and I loved doing that. Um, the pool is amazing. I've had so many days in between my uh, work um, obligations, just lounging by the pool, enjoying a little cocktail or just having grabbing food because even the restaurant, uh, one of the restaurants in the hotel is overlooking the pool so it's a very nice experience. stunning there is a huge lawn where you can even have like parties or lunches and I did get to explore a bit of Pasadena it wasn't very close to the beach I would have wanted to go to Malibu but that's on my to-do list for next time Pasadena itself is very nice a lot of nice houses and mansions around in the area and you know the signature tall palm trees that are very typical of LA so all in all an amazing place to be and visit I really like California and I'm especially impressed with the Fairmont Grand Del Mar and Longcom Huntington in Pasadena. So if you're looking for places to stay and feel like royalty, you should definitely check those out. If you like what I'm sharing and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this video and comment which one you preferred. Was it the Fairmont Grand Del Mar or the Langham Huntington Hotel? Also find me on Instagram because I do share a lot of my travel pics there as well. And thank you guys so much for joining me for this video again. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!